Welcome to History Unmasked. During World War II, Russian women confronted a haunting dilemma, either submit or rise up as defenders of their homeland. Many chose the latter path embracing a living nightmare. That period bears a grim reality of what they faced, but their story doesn't end here. Join us on a journey to know the stomach-churning atrocities committed by German soldiers against Russian women. But before that, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now let's dig in. The role of Russian women. Over 800,000 Russian women bravely donned various uniforms, taking on multifaceted roles as medics, nurses, pilots, and snipers. Their unwavering valor, extraordinary skills, and relentless commitment shone through countless battles, often amidst discrimination and hardship from their comrades. Many paid a colossal price, losing their lives, limbs, or cherished family members to the brutality of the enemy. Nearly 200,000 of these remarkable women were recognized for their exceptional courage, with 89 ascending to the coveted title of Hero of the Soviet Union, the most prestigious honor in the Soviet Union. These women etched their names into the annals of history as pioneering and exclusive female combatants in a major war. They were not just soldiers, they were mothers, daughters, sisters, and wives, embodying unparalleled strength and resilience. The suffering. In the ruthless campaign to degrade and dehumanize Russian women, German soldiers resorted to acts of unfathomable brutality. These women were stripped of their dignity, treated as mere objects of desire, and reduced to commodities. Shockingly, they were paraded as public spectacles, subjected to degrading exhibitions, treated as sources of entertainment, or displayed as trophies of war. The horrifying testimonies from survivors shed light on the abhorrent deeds perpetrated by German soldiers. In chilling instances, captured partisan women and others faced horrifying acts, including being branded with derogatory Hitler labels on their bodies and enduring forced assaults. The Molotov Note of 1942 documents a harrowing compilation of mass violations against women by German soldiers, revealing the widespread nature of these crimes. In Smolensk, a brothel was forcibly established for officers, where hundreds of women and girls were driven by force, their hair in the clutches of armed men. The note also details the tragic plight of young women from various villages, often captured and coerced into the perilous task of removing mines due to their lighter weight, a move that significantly reduced the risk of triggering deadly explosions. Shockingly, the captors showed little regard for the lives lost in this gruesome process. Chilling accounts. One heart-wrenching incident recounted in the note is the ordeal suffered by local Ukrainian actors in Kharkiv. On November 5, 1941, a chilling order was issued demanding the immediate registration of all actors at the Shevchenko Theater. When these actors complied, they were surrounded by German soldiers who harnessed them to carts, parading them through the busiest streets, subjecting them to the grueling task of hauling water from the river. The intention behind this grotesque display was to demean and degrade esteemed Ukrainian intellectuals. Perhaps most tragic of all, in Lviv, 32 women working in a garment factory were subjected to unspeakable acts and subsequently killed in a public park. In a horrific turn of events, a priest who attempted to intervene and prevent this atrocity met a similar fate. The consequences of these assaults were devastating. It is estimated that over a million children were born to Russian women as a result of forced assaults by German soldiers. The scale of these atrocities is staggering. According to author Ursula Schiele, an estimated one in 10 women subjected to assault by German soldiers in the Soviet Union would have become pregnant. This grim statistic implies that the number of women potentially assaulted by the Wehrmacht could reach a staggering 10 million. The unheard plight of justice. The occupying authorities displayed a disturbing indifference toward these violations unless they directly undermined military discipline. Russian women found little justice. Despite being theoretically punishable by death since 1941, few cases saw prosecution. Assaults committed by Germans against non-German women were often brushed aside, going largely unpunished. Changes in the laws surrounding these assaults in 1940 rendered them petitioned crimes, requiring victims to request punishment, leading to a significant lack of prosecution and consequences. During the military campaign in Poland, 
only one case was prosecuted by a German court, with the guilty parties sentenced for Rassenschande, racial defilement, according to Nazi Germany's racial policy, rather than for the acts of assault themselves. Can we ever truly do justice to the women who suffered? Is it even possible? The answer remains elusive. That's all for today. Do tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching.